Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed overview of the Revit Gore-Tex Balaclava line at RevZilla.com. So on the table and standing here on Buzzsaw, I have three balaclavas from Revit. They're all geared towards cool to cold weather riding. Three models are the Karma, which is really a windstopper, half balaclava. You have the Velox, which is kind of the balaclava with the full dickie that you'd wear underneath your jacket, which is also a windstop. And then you have the most expensive, the biggest investment, but the only one that's truly waterproof. This is called the Amazon GTX, which is an over the jacket, full scale balaclava and hood that is fully Gore-Tex, so waterproof and breathable. Let's talk a bit about balaclava, balaclava sizing because honestly, you're looking at three products, the most expensive of which is around that $60 mark. A lot of times, the biggest issue when somebody says, hey, I think my neck's getting cold or my neck's getting wet, I need a balaclava, they're gonna think about how they need to size. Typically, Revit does two sizes, a small and a large. It's a bit arbitrary what you get on the larger size, you get a bit more coverage. So I have Ed here to my left, Ed's six foot, 195, wearing a large, more coverage in the chest as well as the back. Turn backwards for me, Ed. You're gonna see how it kind of sits here on his body, come back around for me. Really, you're only getting about another quarter inch of circumference in the balaclava area that would interface with your face. Because in a lot of ways, it's stretch material that's meant to be snug, and when you're going from that small to large, there's, there's already elastication in there. So it's the kind of thing where, depending on your build, if you're an average size dude, we say buy a large. If you're a little bit of a smaller guy, I would say I'm 5'9". I'm not a huge guy. I could probably go either way. Um, or for the ladies, you probably go with a small. Love to hear your gut reaction on any of these as well. You know, join the comment stream on our YouTube channel and subscribe. And also on the fit side of things, if you do get the wrong fit, it's over 39 bucks. We'll ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee, so no worries on the fit. Let's talk about some of the basic features then on these Revit balaclavas. So remember, we have the Karma on the table, minimal investment, mid-range is gonna be the Velox, and then we have the Amazon GTX. So let's start at the, at, the, at the entry point. So the Karma is going to have, one of my favorite things about these is they're using the same 3D style um, fleece that they're using in the high-end Revit mid-layer. So the Ranger, the Samurai. I currently wear a Ranger all winter long. Thing's phenomenal. This stuff holds up really well. It's extremely soft against your skin. You're also noticing that it's a stretch material. It's finished. It's using Gore Windstopper, which means it's water resistant, but really you're not going to feel the wind. It's amazing how well this stuff works. And if we look at the Karma, the Karma's designed to go either under your collar or over your collar. For the ladies out there, we get feedback that people love it, that it kind of holds their hair in place underneath their helmet, so you can just kind of set it and forget it. And if you'll notice around the nose, we also have this mesh area that's gonna not retain that heat or condensation. It's gonna let you breathe a little bit further. So again, the Karma is a no-brainer option, especially for commuters. You just kind of pop it on and go. Now, if we move up to the one we have on, on Buzzsaw here, we have the Velox. Again, Gore Windstopper. Now it's kind of a full dicky, and we're gonna recommend that you always put this on before you put your jacket on, just to create that seal. Now turn and face away from me, Buzzsaw. If we look at the way it comes around, it's gonna go underneath the ear, stretch around the top, stretch around the back of the head to eliminate bunching. And then again, you have that full dicky that's gonna come down, sit down, and give you that great extra layer. So for me, this is a great one if it's extremely cold, but you know, maybe on and off raining, but not full on hardcore raining. Or if you have a Gore-Tex garment on over top, you're not gonna worry about that either. But again, it's just kind of completing the seal there for more gnarly cold weather riding. Come back around, face the front. The last one we have is the Amazon GTX. The Amazon GTX is a little bit of a different animal. It's definitely an over-the-collar type of a wind collar or balaclava. It's also the full head, I call it the foot soldier design for those of you out there that grew up with the Ninja Turtles like I did. So what you have is the Gore-Tex Taslin material, which has a bonded Gore-Tex waterproof breathable shell to the back of it for this area down here. It's the softer Gore-Tex material. A lot of times we see it on the outer shell of jackets in like crooks of elbows and in areas that aren't impact prone because honestly you're not getting a lot of, you don't need a lot of impact resistance here. What you need though is a comfortable but durable surface that you could bond the Gore-Tex to. You also have reflectivity in the back. That's knowing that it might cover up, it's gonna cover up your collar. So they wanna make sure that if your collar has reflective tape on it, you, you still have that benefit. Also, if I turn it inside out and you see I have a large in my hand, instead of the gray fleece liner, we have the black fleece liner. This is what Revit uses on their collars, a lot of times on the, on the backs of their pants. This material, it's sweat winking, very comfortable, and you do have a cinch here in the front. Now, one of the cooler things too is in this really microelasticated area, you see it here at the top, it's gonna go around your face. We have a few different things going on. We have overlock seams throughout, so it gets the seam on the outside of the garment, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna chafe your skin. 
You have cutouts with this mesh at the ears as well as at the nose to let the hotter areas of your head breathe. And then one of the coolest things is we have this non-seamed area, which is the top of the eye port where there's not even a seam. It's almost kind of bonded. So it's bonded, it's held in place where in an area that's going to be on, over a sensitive, you know, your brow area, your forehead, it might interface, it might have some pressure from your helmet. Again, they're giving you the best chance to not have it create a pressure point or create any chafing. So I'd love to hear your feedback on either the Karma, the Velox, or the Amazon GTX. Love to hear your questions. Like I said, subscribe to us on YouTube, leave them in the comments. Shoot us a line, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. It's very easy to get in, in touch with us, and so many of our staff are riding year-round. So we're very used to, to working with cold weather gear, and we can make some recommendations for you. I mentioned that we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock if you need to send it back to us. And on any order over 100 bucks, you can always earn Teamzilla cash to be applied to your next order, save you some money in the long run. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the Revit Gore-Tex Balaclava series, really for 2012-2013 at revzilla.com slash Revit. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.